Jeffrey Brain has a passion for vintage airplanes, like this beautiful 1952 Harvard. This airplane was sitting in a barn in, in uh, Tisdale for 25 years, uh, covered in dust and, and bird droppings, and so we took the wings off a couple years ago, trucked it back to Lethbridge, and uh, with the help of a team, we managed to restore it and bring it back to the way it looked when it was decommissioned in 1966. And so now it's a pleasure just to fly it in the skies of Southern Alberta again. His second plane is a Boeing Sturman from 1942 that he's had in his possession for seven years. It was a primary trainer, so that would be the first airplane that someone had uh, gotten into during the war. So they would have left the tractor and that's the first thing they would have flown. Uh, so once they advanced through the Boeing Stearman or, or airplanes similar, they would have gone to something like the Harvard or in the U.S. it was called the Texan, and that was the advanced trainer. And from this kind of airplane, they would have gone on to either bombers or, or a Mustang or a Spitfire. Brain says it's meaningful to be able to fly his Harvard on Remembrance Day to honor the veterans who paid the ultimate sacrifice. Last year, I was surprised at how many letters and phone calls I, I received from people in the Lethbridge area. Uh, just saying that their uncle used to fly it or their grandfather used to work on it, and it was meaningful because it was, an, it was an airplane that's iconic that was in the skies in southern Alberta during the war and right through to the, the mid-60s. Brain will be flying his Harvard over top of the Lethbridge Cenotaph on November 11th at 11 a.m., and then he'll make his way to Coaldale and Sterling for their Remembrance Day ceremonies. For Bridge City News, I'm Micah Quinn.